Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can use Claude AI to write a very high quality blog post for SEO. This will drive you a lot more organic traffic and hopefully help you rank number one on Google. If you do this consistently, obviously depending on the industry, you will probably, you will start getting a lot of organic traffic, maybe even like this where we're getting 917 organic clicks per day and that is only to our blog post. Imagine what that kind of traffic could do to your business. We'll be using Claude AI to make a really high quality blog post. Why is it gonna be high quality? Well, it's going to have a little bit of research and it's going to be answering the user's search intent. It's going to be varied. It's not just going to be words, it'll be tables as well. And we're even gonna do a little illustrations and don't worry, all the illustrations and the images are gonna be done with free AI tools as well. This will make your blog post a lot more different and a step above all of your competitors of blog posts and all other and all other generic AI generated content that is out there. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I'm an AI powered SEO specialist and I run an online community, the AI Ranking Hub, where we teach you and we help you into everything you need to know about how to rank your website number one with the help of artificial intelligence and automations as well. It is a really great collaborative community where you can join where you can join a lot of people that are in that want to learn as well. We have weekly meetings as well. You have hundreds of tutorials and hundreds of assets that you can use that will help you rank your website number one with the help of AI. There's a premium community and a free community. So if you just want to get started without committing yourself too much, I understand it. You can join the free community and I'll leave a link to the free community in the video description below. And all the assets that I'll be providing today will be accessible for you for free within inside the free community. But let's get started right away. So like I said, we're gonna be using Claude AI to create our blog post. Why Claude and not ChatGPT or Meta? Well, I think it's important for you to be able to use other tools than, chat, than just ChatGPT. And if you're looking for Claude, which clearly you are, you probably know that it's favored amongst a lot of copywriters and SEO professionals because its, it's output is actually quite incredible. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is really, really high quality. So we're gonna use this tool to write all of our blog posts. What we're gonna do for this example is write about the health benefits of yerba mate. This is a tea that's drunken all around South America, at least predominantly there. We're gonna do a bit of research and all of that research we're gonna place into this big dirty prompt which we'll give to Claude and it's gonna write everything for us. The prompt will be accessible within the free community. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. But you just need to fill out a couple of questions. It's really good to do your due diligence, do a little bit of research and add that into Claude to write this. And that's what's gonna take your blog post over to the next level. So reading the blog post, we need a couple of things here. We need to insert the main keyword and the main country for the audience that we're writing for. So in this instance, the main keyword, we're gonna do the benefits of yerba mate. And the country, we're actually going to write for Australians. The rest will leave as is. And if we scroll a little bit further down, you'll see that you need a few other components. You can change the length if you want within the prompt. We're gonna, let's say we actually want 2000 words instead of 1500. The length of the blog doesn't really matter too much. If the blog is longer, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will rank higher. It's all to do with the quality of the blog post. It's a bit of a how long is a piece of string kind of question. There is a couple of things here that you need to make sure you fill in. Include the following links to ensure we're backing up our statements. That's something that you wanna do with SEO. Insert links here. And you might think, well, where do I get those links? A quick search with Perplexity, which is also a free tool. I'll show you, we'll find you the best resources available to you. I'm gonna do a brand new search and just ask it to find me some resources that back up the claim of the benefits of Yerba Mate. I've even misspelled this, but Meh, never mind. Perplexity smart enough to understand what I actually want. I'm a bit of a muppet sometimes. And I see here that it's given me the sources, seven benefits of yerba mate, and then perfect, we have in a website from a doctor as well, a health line, and let's see the rest of the sources as well to see if we want to include something else. We probably wanna include this as well from the National Library of Medicine. So within that blog post, within that prompt, I'm going to just insert that link there. I'm going to grab the other one as well from Healthline, which is a very high quality 
website as well and just the, do those two there. The language here inserted, uh, I'm just going to leave as British English. And then the country again, I'm gonna do Australia. The main keywords, uh, again, the benefits of Yerba Mate or Yerba Mate health benefits. The frequently asked questions, I want you to say attached and I'll show you where you can get that in a second. In the secondary keywords, attached as well. Okay, so now it knows what we're writing about. The rest is just giving it guidelines on the tone of voice it should use. By all means, copy this prompt and make it your own. That's the whole idea of this. And now it's got enough information that it knows what we want to do. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to Claude. I am using the professional plan. You can probably uh, get enough messages to create this blog post at least once a day with the free version. So I'm gonna copy the entire prompt in there that I've amended. Now I need to do a little bit of research. If I use a tool that is completely free called Also Asked and I input the main keyword and the country, I click live search, it'll give me a list of all the frequently asked questions about that certain topic. Why is this a good thing? Well, I want to answer the user's search intent. This is gonna provide them even more value because I am answering the questions they are asking. Again, that's gonna be one of the things that's going to differentiate your blog post from others. I've got the PNG that that provides me. I'm just gonna place it all here and I'm just gonna press enter. Blog Claude is gonna read everything, understand the prompt, understand what we're trying to do and start writing the blog post. So it's given me the outline to make sure that I'm happy with it. Um, perfect, and I am for this instance, so yes, continue. And you'll see that with the artifacts features, it'll actually start writing the blog in the other side. I really like that. And it says, Yerba Mate Health Benefits, Australia's new superfood obsession. Perfect, so it understood who we're writing for and it understood to insert the keyword that I wanted in the title, really good and important for SEO. And it's not your generic AI content copywriting sounding style. Let's read the first sentence and then you can agree with me or not. Picture this, you're strolling through the sun drenched streets of Bondi, the salt breeze tussling in your hair when you spot a group of impossibly chic locals huddled around in a circle in a curious gourd. They're not sipping flat whites or green smoothies, Mate, uh, mate, sorry. No, they're indulging in yerba mate, the centuries old South American elixir that's taking the land down under by storm. Like, it's great. It understood who we're writing for and it doesn't have the classic in the ever evolving world of kind of sounding tone to it because we took a while with that prompt and that's all yours, by the way. You see that it even has some tables and again, this is really good because you don't wanna just create a blog post with only text. It's gonna be a bit boring. You need to make it fun for the audience to read. That's one component of that. Now I've got a blog post and it's nearly kind of there. It's answering all of the frequently asked questions and I can copy the contents of it. It's gonna copy it in a markdown format. I've got this tool here that allows me to see how it's going might look in my blog post and it's looking pretty good. So I could go, right away and paste this into my website, particularly if your website can intake markdown. If you prefer HTML, you can just ask it. We're now going to even take this a step further and make this a better blog by adding an interactive HTML element. This is great because Claude is a fantastic coder. So we're gonna ask it in the same conversation to create an interactive HTML element that we can put throughout the blog post because it understands all the background of what it has just written. It should understand what we're asking it to do. And it's given us a fun little yerba mate quiz that we can inject into the blog post with HTML5. What is the traditional vessel used for drinking yerba mate? Let's see if I can get these right. The gourd, beautiful. Which of these is not a benefit? Instant muscle growth, beautiful. Yerba mate contains which of the following? Things like that, you can interact, you can inject into the prompt, into the blog post with HTML. If you don't want to do the quiz component, that's fine, tell it that you want another component. We're going to take it a step further. What we're going to do is add some illustrations with this. And don't worry, 
I'm not a designer and you might not be, but I'm gonna show you a tool that's free that's going to make really incredible illustrations with one click. So we're going to look at a place where we might be able to place in a illustration just below. I'm gonna take this section here that's about antioxidants abundance. I'm going to go to a website and a tool called Napkin AI. I'll leave a link in the video description below. It is one of my favorite tools. And as of the time of this recording, it's free. I don't know how much longer it'll be free for because it's so good. I'm gonna paste that section that I had in there. I'm gonna select everything and click this button here, this spark button. It's going to read all our little output and understand how it should generate an illustration. And here we go, which drinks boost antioxidants more, Yidamata versus antioxidants. That's pretty good. It creates all of these different types of illustrations that you might be able to place in the blog post. I actually really like this one and let's choose this one here. You can change other attributes of this by choosing maybe uh, Arial. I'm gonna use this one and you can even change the colors of everything. But for now, I'll leave it as is. I'm gonna download this and you can download as a PNG, SVG or PDF. You can even add to clipboard. That's a new feature that they've just added. Fantastic, I like it. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to add it below. Perfect. Now my blog post doesn't just have words and tables, but it's also got really cool illustrations and I haven't had to do anything. I've just done a click or two. And now, so that we don't use DALI, I wanna show you another tool, which is Meta AI. We're gonna use this to create our image because I wanna give you other examples and tell you that ChatGPT is not the only tool out there. I'm gonna tell it to create an image of people enjoying yerba mate in, in an Australian beach. And that's not bad. Um, I like the way Meta does the images because you can kind of see it in real time as it's changing. That looks like a pretty realistic gourd. Perfect, that's not bad. An image of people enjoying yerba mate on an Australian beach. That looks pretty damn close to a gourd. So great, I'm just going to download this here. Download, and I'm gonna go back to my blog post and place that where it's telling me to do so. The prompt is instructed to uh, tell you where it recommends to put images here. Fantastic. Now I've got a pretty good blog post that has a little bit of research, has some illustrations, and even has some tables there as well. You can copy and paste that into your blog. The prompt that I just used for that will be available in the free resources within the community. But I also wanna let you know that that's not the only thing that you'll get with a free community. You're also gonna get a lot of prompts that we use for that community that are going to help you with other parameters of your blog posts. Like for example, image prompts generator, meta description generator, title tag generator, and other things like that. That's available for you, including the blog post, that the prompt, sorry, that we use for Claude AI. Is that all you need to rank really well? No, you need to do that consistently, and you need to make sure that other assets of your website are optimized for SEO. If you wanna start learning what all that means, I suggest you join our free community, and if you want to take that a step further and really catapult your SEO with automations and the latest AI-powered SEO tools, you should join our premium community as well. And now is the best time to join because the price will be going up at the end of the month, but if you join now, it'll be the same price for you forever. If you like this video, let me know with a subscribe and a like, and let me know what else you'd like to see in the video in the comments below.